putting this together. What, what a novel idea to do a comedy show on Mother's Day. And I have no mother's jokes. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to have to follow with what I got here. So some of you don't know me, so let me introduce you my, to me. My name is Claire, and as you can see by my face, I'm on Medicare. I'm sure you're saying to yourself, why in the world would one my age consider doing comedy? I have a lot of evangelists younger comedians. They forget their materials. They look like losers. <laughs> if I forget my material, I'm adorable. <laughs> yeah, but here's a baby boomer. I'm so going to miss that mass mandate. You know? I, yeah. I mean, because when you have a face like mine <laughs> that looks like a walnut, and uh, cover girl makeup covers absolutely nothing. <laughs> And I have to use spackle to fill in these crevices. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the face mask, it, it was like, like, I might think about it, you could always see your eyes. It, it was like a free facelift, you know? It was like plastic surgery. I give from God. I reprieve from the ravages of old age because, ladies and gentlemen, when you get older, your body falls apart. It not only gets wrinkly, 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 wrinkly it gets creepy. Let me show you. I'm sorry, this is something you young younger said. Not on your bucket list, but let me show you. The creepy sin, you've got a face. Okay, here it is. Wait, I, I've never seen this before. This side too? Oh no! Oh no! What whole say Shakespeare? What pernicious flat? Fly it at my face! I feel like I'm a raptor. You know that dinosaur in Jurassic Park? The one that killed Newman? Seinfeld's friend? <laughs> you know, you know, you, you know, you, you know when you're getting old is when you get so many wrinkles, uh, the face recognition on your phone doesn't recognize you. <laughs> I gotta pee. I am sorry, this is such a part of being old. <laughs> Don't worry if you're in the splash zone. <laughs> I'm wearing depends. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, I'm a kegel too. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, okay I'm safe. You're all safe. <laughs> so, the, the thing about being old is, you know, is, I, is, I've got such ADD, and, and I thought that ADD would like wither. Kind of like being older, like you know, like your body just fall, just goes away, like less dense. But no, my ADD is fast and furious. It, it, it's still, I'm still, I'm still wild. I mean, like I, I get lost all the time. I mean, even, even, I mean, I, I, I got lost. I, I, I can't even find my car with my fop. You know that? You know that? I mean, I, ladies and gentlemen, I went to Macy's the other day. And I, and I did my fob, and my car wasn't there. So I absolutely panicked. And I felt like I was in the twilight zone, <laughs> where a lost car lies at the pit of man's stomach, or the height of his imagination. And I'm imagining, because I'm in the twilight zone, I know where my car, what happened to my car? An alien has eaten it. <laughs> and then he has pooped it into another parking lot. <laughs> Oh, and then I calm down. Okay, and I calm down. And I uh, call one of those security guards, you know, um, the guys on the golf carts, you know, to help me find my car. And I give him $10, and he drives right to my car. <laughs> I said, how did you know where my car was? He says, well, you lost your car last week. <laughs> this is where you parked it last week. <laughs> Last week you gave me twenty dollars, <laughs> but you know, when it comes to being lost, I can't go to Costco. I, I mean, you can't find anything in Costco. There's no signage in Costco. There's no peanuts, popcorn, potato chips. There's just numbers, and you're walking around aimlessly looking for things you can't find. It's as if the CEO of of Costco 
He's a mafia boss. He says, hey, what? Hey, hey, Costco's a gold mine, huh? When the explorers came out west, huh? Did they, did they have maps? No, they search, so search already, huh? Besides, the thing is in the place, just ask the guy. There is no guy. There's nobody to help you. It, that's why they call Moscow. I mean, you can't find anything. But you know, I, I, I fooled. I fooled Costco. I, I have to admit, I only go to Costco for institutional size boxes of pens. And, uh, and, but I, rem I memorized where they were. So I was fine. I've been, except for, I realized I started moving around like, last September. What was I thinking? Christmas at Costco in September. And where my depends are is like, is, uh, is uh, candy canes and Santa Clauses. And so I, I couldn't find my, so I walked around and I had to go look and I found my depends. They were in the rotisserie section <laughs> where the chickens are. I feel a little shock and awe, but let me tell you from my perspective, there is nothing like a warm depends on my coochie. <laughs> I have a couple of swirls, that's what I mean. It's back to swirl with But if you want to get found, what you have to do is you have to go to Walmart. Okay, you leave Losco, you go to Walmart, because you know they got that greeter there? You know, and he could help you find places, find things, he doesn't have to. Do you know Walmart hires retired USC cheerleaders on Medicare to give you to give you instructions? I mean, directions. It looks like this. Walmart cares. <laughs> Peanuts right. Popcorn left. Potato chips straight ahead. Oh, my arthritis. <laughs> ADD. We have to, okay, I mean, it's kind of like you can't be a comic and not have ADD. It's like, it's been, our ideas go, but, but you know, ADD, ADD, you're such a good laugh. Just move on side of my head. So, you know, you know, you know, ADD gets such a bad rap because for every one uh, negative, there are 10 positives. I'm enthusiastic, I'm exuberant, I'm like an energizer bunny. I'm crack cocaine. And, uh, <laughs> did I do that right? I don't do that. <laughs> I need to get training from you because I don't know. That's it. But the, the negatives can really destroy your life. Like, I have a little bit of an organization problem for those of you who know me. And, uh, and my husband was OCD on organization. How the two of us were in the same space-time continuum, I'll never know. Because, I, you know, I, I, and I said, I looked at him and said, why do you stay with me? What is it about me? He said, it's your, per, per, no, it's your pension plan. <laughs> and then he says, shake your boobs, because that's a proper punctuation for this joke. <laughs> My husband wrote that joke. <laughs> He's passed, so let's thank Terry for it. Thank you, Terry. Oh, Great. To show the difference between my husband and I, you just have to look at our sock drawers. You look at my husband's sock drawer, they look like little tin soldiers, color coded, and they stand up and salute to him in the morning. Good morning, sock! What are we wearing today? Sock! Will it be the no-show? Or the OTC? You go open up my sock drawer. It's my socks, my underwear, my adult diapers, uh, my Spanx, my uh, bras, my phone chargers, my mismatched Tupperware, Tupperware lids. Just, just one big Gordian knot. I said, I said, you know, and I go, oh my goodness, I go. And when I used to teach, it used to take me 20 minutes to get ready for school. I'd untie all that stuff. Anyway, my husband just said, my husband said, you know what, there's a place for everything, and everything has its place. Well, I had a place. It was out. <laughs> it was there. 
maybe even there. <laughs> His place was away. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, where is away? I mean, think about it. Now that you've cleaned out everything after COVID, how many of you found things you didn't know you had because you put them away? away right? Like, like my friend, she found a gift card to a little uh, Newport Beach boutique, and uh, the only problem is she had gained the COVID fifty, and uh, <laughs> and. Um, so, uh, so she tried to wear one of those spandex dress numbers. <laughs> she looked like a wine barrel going for a stroll. <laughs> so again, I ask you, where is the way? So, so I, I, um, what, what, I, what was I, is it, is it a cupboard? Is it in a drawer? Is it in a filing cabinet? Is it in your glove compartment? Is it in a closet, a secret door, door to Narnia? Where is a way? Well, you know, I, I, so I, I didn't realize how bad my cluttering might have had a problem in school until when I retired, uh, two custodians went off therapy. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but all the, I have these wonderful parents out here. They used to help me clean my room. They, they did, but, I mean, and I used to try and do it all myself. I, really, I have to tell you a great story that happened to me like 20 years ago. Do you remember when they used to put the picture of missing kids on the back of a milk carton? Yeah. Remember that? But when I was cleaning my room, I found one of those missing kids. <laughs> She was in the uh, closet applying for college. Anyway, so, <laughs> anyway, but I, it is really hard at my age trying to, to, to relate to millennials because it's, you know, I, I don't get, like, they talk about drugs. Like, uh, <laughs> like, 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 you guys talk about, like, a drug that Molly, well, I, I didn't know what Molly was. I thought Mo Molly was, like, a girl because all the comics were, like, having a good time with her and partying with her, and they weren't introducing it because I was too old, and then and I, and I, and I looked it up, and found out it was a drug, and found out it wasn't approved by Medicare, and, uh, and the only way I could get it was through a street vendor named Jose, and uh, so, uh, so I, I, I've had to like to try to be more like a millennial, so that'd be, you know, try to relate to them. Like I eat avocado toast, things like that, and then uh, yeah, that makes that puts me right up there. But most important is I learned to speak like a millennial. Yo, bro, what's up? Hey, dude, that jump be dope. That jump be so dope, it be lit. That jump be so lit, I be swagging. <laughs> Come on, a seventy-seven year old woman, just a millennial speak, and I didn't get an applause. That's it. That's it. comics dying on stage? I could. And, uh, <laughs> in fact, he gave me the light. <laughs> Going to the light has a whole different meaning from my perspective. <laughs> in when they say, that's my time. <laughs> Usually they call 911. So that's, <laughs> that's my time. They, I went off like,